For one thing, it creates a climate in which there's widespread and increasing violence against women. Here she's become the bottle of alcohol with a label branded on her stomach. Now, I'm not at all saying that an ad like this directly causes violence. It's not that simple. But it is part of a cultural climate in which women are seen as things, as objects. And certainly, turning a human being into a thing is almost always the first step toward justifying violence against that person. We see this with racism. We see it with homophobia. It's always the same process. We think of the person as less than human, and violence becomes inevitable. And that step is already taken with women. So the violence, the abuse, is partly the chilling but logical result of this kind of objectification. Now, this is a problem for all women, of course, but particularly women of color, who are often literally shown as animals, dressed in leopard skins, in animal prints. Over and over again, the real message is not fully human. Ten years ago, even the advertisers acknowledged this in an editorial that they put in Advertising Age, their major publication. Clearly, it's time to wipe out sexism in beer ads, for the brewers and their agencies to wake up and join the rest of America in realizing that sexism, sexual harassment, and the cultural portrayal of women in advertising are inextricably linked. So here the advertisers are saying, yes, we sell more than products. Yes, the images in our lives affect the reality of our lives. And how could they not?